Hello, morning everyone. Welcome back to Amy's Trading Journals. Okay, so today is eighth December, twenty twenty, Tuesday today. So what are going to learn today or talk about today? So firstly, uh, about the market weather today. So my summary is rainy with sunshine. Share with you the details later. And for Singapore market. Uh, we see I first a rebounded quite forcefully today, right? So, is it that I first still has some hope? Still, there's some hope for I first. Later we talk, and then uh, about Singtel, it hasn't moved much. When I was checking this morning, later we also analyze the details. And for Medtech today, it soared quite uh, dramatically, right? Is it that my tech is going to move up again? And for U.S. market, we see C Limited very beautiful pattern, and also Tesla has remained so strong ever since the、uh, the upward gap when we have the news that it would be included into S and P five hundred, right? And so, what lessons learned from the movement for Tesla? Okay, the the strong upward momentum of Tesla, and also for BioNTech, which is the one I have bought previously, right? So it is still in stable rise. And then the last part is about the individual stock diagnosis. Uh, if you do have stocks to diagnose, you need to WhatsApp me privately the name or the ticker of your stock so that I can diagnose for you. All、right. Okay. So before we begin, I have this disclaimer to make. So all the stocks mentioned in the video are for the purpose of demonstration and education, not recommendation. Investors should be aware of the risks involved in stock trading and take full responsibilities for their own trading. Okay. So let's check the market performance. So I said that the market for U.S. market actually last night it is.、Uh, Rainy with sunshine. Why I said it is rainy with sunshine because、uh, we have、uh, Nasdaq went up by fifty five points. I uh, it, uh, the rise is zero point forty five percent. And for the other two major indexes, Dow Jones it dropped by zero point forty nine percent at uh, um uh. Thirty thousand and sixty-nine points, and then for S and P five hundred, it also dropped、uh, by zero point nineteen percent at three thousand six hundred ninety-one points. Okay, so Nasdaq now is twelve thousand five five hundred and nineteen. Is it the right value, Nasdaq? Twelve thousand five hundred nineteen. Okay, so let's check. Uh, this chart I have uh showed you uh yesterday, right? So it's the same chart I showed you yesterday. I mentioned about Nasdaq that uh it's uh very close to the one hundred thirty eight point two percent level. The uh it's around twelve thousand five hundred and five points, right? And last night the price. It closed at twelve thousand five hundred and nineteen points, just slightly above the one hundred thirty-eight point two percent level, the first significant resistance level. And then, uh, this is for Nasdaq. The reason why it still can went up, it still can go up last night because it's still a bit far away. We still have some little distance, uh, to the. Uh, first resistance level, right? But for the other two indexes, why they dropped? So because、uh, yesterday we mentioned the price already exceeded the one hundred thirty eight point two percent level of the Fib Golden Retracement, right? So、uh, then that's why last night S and P five hundred because、uh, the price already exceeded. This first resistance level and、uh, already touched the one hundred fifty percent strong resistance. That's why、uh, S and P five hundred it dropped. And、uh, S and P five hundred last night the 
value again is 3,691 points, right? 3,691, so, uh, yes, just when the price uh, break up the 138.2 level and unable to really break up the resistance level and then turn downward last night. And then this is for S&P 500. For Dow Jones, also, uh, the price already break, broken up the 138.2% level the day before yesterday, right? So uh, last night, it dropped because the resistance level already reached and unable to break up. That's why it dropped. And then uh, for US market, Nasdaq is, the, is uh, let's say, still uh, sh sh sunny, right? So it's, we have sunshine here for Nasdaq, but for uh, Dow Jones and for S&P 500 already begin to run, right? And it's still the same. Uh, very likely or very possible that in near future, there might be some short-term correction, at least for the U.S. market. Still, we need to bear in mind and get prepared for the potential short-term correction in near future. This is for the uh, U.S. market, right? And then for our other markets, uh, Singapore, Malaysia, and uh, Hong Kong, right? So our Singapore today still sat with you, no significant movement. This chart I showed you yesterday. So uh, now the price is still uh, around 2,825 point. That is the current value for STI. 2,825 is a bit below the 80.9% of the FIB golden retracement, right? So this level is 2,829. Current value is 2,825, slightly below. And we see if the price is cracked in near future, uh, the first weak support level is the uh, previous uh, Tai Chi signal high price here, right? So if the correction is a forceful one, it might continue dropping further to touch 61.8% of the golden, uh, of the uh, FIB golden retracement. So the value is 2,734 point, points. Okay, so this is for our SDI. Then for Hansen index, uh, for QCI, right? So QCI, uh, we say yesterday. We said yesterday the price already reached the significant resistance level around uh, 1,552 points, and now if we see the price now is 1,626. 1,626. Actually, price already uh, successfully break up the strongest resistance. So. If this level can really hold in near future, then this is the confirmation. KOCI really is turning quite bullish because it has been a long time, a very long time that the price is uh, is unable to break up the strongest resistance level. And finally, now it seems like uh, very likely uh, the price is going to break up. But also, we need to check the big picture, especially the U.S. market performance. Let's hope the correction for U.S. in near future, if there is one correction, if there is a correction for U.S. in near future, it's not a very forceful one. If it's not a very false one, maybe KOCI can still, let's say, stay around the level or above the level, if we are lucky. And then, uh, in future, if the price it get, really gets support at this level, then turn upward again, then in future, there would be a great chances for KOCI. Okay, so this is for the uh, KOCI and the Hong Kong market. Hong Kong market, the price unable to break up the strong resistance here around 26,138 points. Today, the market continue dropping. Uh, yesterday, a uh, when the market uh, early market open, it dropped quite a lot, but in the end, it managed to uh, rebound a bit, right? We see a long lower shadow for yesterday, but for today, it continued dropping again, 
it began to drop again early market right so now the value is 26,344 points okay so 26,344 points uh, it's um, let's say okay sorry this value is not for uh, this value 26,138 is for uh, the line here okay, sorry give me a moment it's for this level all right the 26,138 points is for this yellow line here the uh, the bottom of this blue bar relatively long blue bar right and uh, now the uh, yesterday the price is uh, 26,835 this is the price for yesterday close right and and today the price is 26,344 uh, slightly higher than the uh, close price uh, yesterday but it was uh, uh, in dropping right until now it's, it, it was dropping and the price is still lingering around the uh, resistance level here the long blue bar and also the yellow tai chi here right so if in near future the price unable to break up then it might drop if it drop the strong support below this longest blue bar which is very close to the uh, this relatively long blue bar here and the value for this relatively long blue bar is 26,138 points this this level would be the first target level should there be a correction in the near future and uh, and below then we see the empty space here we see better the level can hold all else the correction here would be quite a false for one for short term all right so this is for the market weather for today and then uh, let's continue to check uh, ifast all right so uh, for ifast go to the real time chart ifast today we see it's a forceful rebound today it's already until now the rebound is already 6.3% and uh, what we we see is the price get support here at the blue lines of uh, homely rainbow right so we see uh, yesterday the big crash here for yesterday it is uh, just some irrational panic selling this is irrational panic selling people get the news when the market closed last Friday, all got frightened and then all eager to sell uh, uh, Monday, yesterday. So that's why we see a very big downward gap. But after the uh, after people re return to, let's say, a normal state from the irrational state, right? And then people realize that, wow. Uh, this may may not be very uh, rational correction here okay uh, because we also have news that goes like uh, uh, ifast will continue its pursuit of uh, digital bank license in an exchange filing or whatever you can so it is going to apply again although it already it failed for the first time but who said we cannot try for the second time right maybe the second time it would be the successful try right and this move suggested the poss possibility of more issuances in future by the monetary authority of uh, Singapore means what it, it's not really it, it, it doesn't really mean that I fast already failed uh, completely maybe it uh, apply for the second time the next time it would be successful right so means we still have some hope here for I fast because for stock market the most important thing is about people's anticipations or expectations if people still have confidence or still have hope then the price would slowly recover okay the price will slowly recover we got the strong support around the
blue lines of homely rainbow. And uh, I mentioned yesterday the difference between the uh, real experts and also the the new traders, beginners in the market lies in uh, their different, uh, let's say, uh, uh, hand, their, their, their capacity, lies in their different capacity to handle uh, losses. Everyone will come across uh, such occasions, great losses, unexpected sudden uh, downward gaps. Any investor in the market would uh, come across this kind of situation sooner or later, right? But the real experts, they can handle it in the proper way so that can, he can or she can minimize the risks. And for the beginners, they usually just uh, uh, make decisions based on their emotions, gut feelings, no rational analysis. So why? I, I, because I also am still holding IFAS, right? So I, no one can escape it. Uh, after the big downward gap, the market opened with a big downward gap. No one can escape, right? So if uh, you are, let's say, if there, if there is a beginner, maybe already sold away uh, when the market opened, then, wow. Well, so uh, that's a loss forever for him. But let's say I didn't because I know that this is just a panic, panic uh, selling, a rational panic selling. It's not sure yet uh, whether the influence here would be a very devastating influence or it's just some very short term influence. So that's why I didn't make a decision to sell immediately. I would choose to wait and see to see how the market would move in future. So now what we see is it's in forceful rebound after get support and also uh, hope would, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's, let's say would uh, come again because people uh, will have uh, news that maybe the second, uh, it is going to uh, apply for the second time, the, the license then people still have a hope, right? As long as we have hope, maybe the price in future can continue rebound. But how do we, uh, but how do we know whether or not the rebound can continue? So one level to focus on is the high price of yesterday candle. So the high price here, if in near future, the price can quickly uh, go up, to break the pre the high price of this uh, uh, yesterday candle, right? So then we have a uh, uh, very high probability that the rebound can continue, maybe to reach the top of this uh, um, uh, downward gap again. But uh, it's not that uh, the price must, uh, let's say, cover the gap completely. Maybe. The price cover the gap partially, then turn downward again. So if you check homely rainbow here, right? So the last yellow line of homely rainbow, this is around the half of this uh, big downward gap. Okay, so this half level here would be a significant uh, resistance level for IFAST. Let's say if the rebound can really uh, break up the high of the yesterday candle here. Then it continue rebounding, continue rebounding to touch the yellow line, last the yellow line of homely rainbow, which is the half of this downward gap. The value is around one, uh, uh, let me check, oh yeah, no, no, no. The value is around $3.19, okay? $3.19, okay? So that would be a significant resistance for IFAST if the rally can continue in near future, the rebound can continue in near future, right? So for me, I will just uh, uh, keep monitoring closely to see whether or not I need, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, to cut loss when the price touch the level. It is still depends. If the, re the upward momentum is still quite strong, maybe it's possible that the price can continue going up to a uh, let's say cover the gap completely.
but now I cannot tell. I need to wait until the price touch the level then to decide. All right. So this is for I fast. We may still have hope for this one, right? And then apart from I fast, so Singtel, we got the news that it already secured the license, right? The digital bank license already secured, but the price didn't go up、uh, much. Yesterday it gap up open, big gap up open, but it. After market open, it continue dropping to a very low level. This candle here is a bearish candle. It's not a very a very good looking、uh, candle, right? So we know that the white lines of homely rainbow is acting as a strong resistance, although stimulated by the good news. It secured the license already. Still, the the resistance here. Around the white lines, very strong, and for short term, it's still white circle. So, if you think it still has great potentiality in future, maybe you wait until, let's say, the circle at least the circle turn red again. The circle turn red again, and also、uh, need to see whether the let's say in near future the price can remain above the. Top of this gap here, right? So because、uh, yesterday we got a gap, we got an upward gap yesterday, right? This is the gap for yesterday. If in near future the price a、uh, never drop below the top of this、uh, gap, right? So we still have hope that may maybe in near future it can turn upwards, and then the first target level is around the white line. White lines of homely rainbow. The the first white line, the first white line. The price is two dollars sixty three cents. And the uh last white line, the fourth white line, the value is around two dollar fifty cents. Two dollar fifty cents means the area between two dollar fifty cents and two dollar sixty two cents. That is the resistance level in near future for Singtel. If upward momentum strong, maybe the price can break up the resistance. Once the price break up the resistance level, the first white line that would be a birth of a dark horse, beginning of a long term bullish reversal. Then, if you、uh, let's say you are the conservative type, maybe you want to wait until the After it is already successful, both of a dark horse, then you can consider to find a timing to enter. If you are the aggressive type, right? So maybe in near future, the price never draw below the top of this gap I mentioned here, right? And then it turn upwards, and then you can try try to buy, but you need to uh uh be aware of the resistance levels, the area I shared with you. If price unable to break up, you need to decide whether or not you should uh, uh, stop loss or leave first. Alright, so it will be a bit tricky to deal with. If you are not that aggressive type or you are not a very experienced investor in the market, better maybe you wait until it's a successful birth of a dark horse, long term bullish reversal. Then after that, you. Find the timing. All right. So this is for Alphas and、uh, Singtel, and then、uh, for Singapore market today, we also got another stock. The price quite impressive today, which is、um, MyTech, right? It went up until now by ten percent already. Okay. So some people may may thinking, is it that uh, I uh, <laughs> MedTech finally is going to move up again after a already a very long time correction here. All right. So what I can tell you is now the price is still below the yellow lines of homely rainbow. If you want to make sure that uh they 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 would be a, a let's say a rally last for a longer time. Or a forceful rally, then 
at least you need a price break up the yellow lines of home and rainbow. Then you can say that. And also, on the other hand, we need the retailers decrease. We need the big boys increase. So means it's still too early to say that、uh, medtech is going to move up a lot again. We still cannot say that now, but maybe there is such kind of possibility. So what we can do is we keep monitoring. All right, we、we'll、keep monitoring if the price can break up the yellow line, and then retailers can decrease significantly. Big boys increase at least to be more than twenty five percent, right? If it can reach fifty percent, that would would be the best. Okay, so this is for my tech. Still need to monitor.、Uh, if you jump into it too early,、uh, maybe sometimes you have the、uh, stop loss because it is not that safe now. All right.、Uh, okay. So this is for Singapore market, right? We have uh, uh, talked about the iFast, Singtel, and Meta, and then for U.S. market. We talk about C Limited and also Tesla and Biotech. Okay, so for C Limited, this company is the video game company, right? So previously, when is the first recycle here? Already mentioned this stock to you. I don't know whether or not you still remember or have you watched my video. Uh, already on on that day, twentieth November. On that day, I I、uh, analyze this C limited for you because it's the first recycle, and we have a lot of big boys. It's quite stable, about fifty percent. We see this is the bullish type, but what we see is after the first recycle, we never get the confirmation to buy because the price never really break up. The high price of the first、uh, race circle. All right. So、uh, until yes, until here, fourth、uh, November. Oh, I didn't download it、uh, today. Okay, I didn't. I didn't download it.、Uh? Yes, I downloaded it already. So this is for the day before yesterday. The price break up, and the pattern here is beautiful because we see the price finally. Break up the sideways platform and volume enlargement, and we know that the reason why it be, it can finally break up the sideways platform mostly because of the good news. Because C Limited also、uh, is teaming was teaming with uh, uh, which company? Uh, all itself, I cannot remember very clearly. Also, it has applied for the、uh, digital bank license, and already、uh, the the Singapore Monetary Authority、uh, already issued the、uh, already approved the application. So it already secured the digital bank license C Limited. So in、uh, stimulated by the good news、uh, on fourth December, a Just、uh, break up the resistance level, and yesterday we see the price is just a sideways around the、uh, close price here, right? So we say usually if the correction just around the close price of a bullish candle, uh, means it's、uh, really not a very fierce、um, correction or significant correction,、uh, you can just ignore it. Means upward momentum is quite strong. Yes, it's very strong upward momentum here. So if you have、um, uh, been monitoring this stock the day after the day I mentioned this, twentieth November, you have been keep monitoring, and on fourth December, I I believe you already have been able to enter. Let's see the market open,、uh, just already break up right. Gap up, open, break up the resistance level. You already can buy, buy early. No need to wait until the market close, right? Okay, so you buy, then you keep holding, because the pattern here is quite beautiful. Okay, so this is about a、uh, C limited, and then for Tesla. Wow, the chart is so beautiful, Tesla, right? So、uh, this gap, the previous gap, 
let's check the previous gap before the price move so forcefully we have a triangle right we have a triangle and let me remove the circle first so that you can see more clearly we have the triangle and we have the price uh, gap up open to break up the triangle because of the news that uh, it would be included in the s p 500 very soon in december right and then stimulated by the news gap up break up resistance and the following day actually is the best chance to enter tesla it's the best entry point enter tesla right and then after you already bought tesla so what we we can do is we keep holding why we can keep holding because on one hand we have the big boys more than 70 percent already the second day after the uh, breakthrough of the triangle no retailers gone completely and we see along the rally here the big boy is quite quite a strong around uh 90 percent level let's say until now right so some people may feel uh fearsome of the height especially here it's so high some people are thinking wow begin to drop this is a let's say this is a bearish in graphing a, a bearish candle pattern here right so many people sort of wait after that oh, continue hitting new highs so how can we uh, avoid selling too early too early for this kind of bullish stock one thing is you check multicolor dragon you, you can have confidence to hold the other thing is don't forget about the circle here so see the price it dropped but still recircle it dropped Price touch the recircle. Recircle is the support. If the price get a support, then it would turn up again. Even if the price a it, it, it didn't get enough support here, it dropped below the circle. You just sell, take your profit here. It's still quite a handsome profit for you for short term trading, right? But if you follow the circle and the circle really hold up, then you can get a more profit. That's the beauty of uh, following the indicator so that you will not miss uh, the bigger profit in future. You just get, for many people, uh, the problem is they already entered a very bullish stock, but they earned a small amount of profit, then just leave, quickly leave, because they dare not hold, fearing that the price would drop, they would lose the profit they already got. That's because you don't have uh, indicators to check. Okay, so you follow the recycle. It can help you maximize your profit. So that's one, one lesson to learn. The other lesson to learn is some people are saying, wow, Tesla is so bullish. Can I buy tonight? Okay, so I think it's a very, very stupid question. So because in the stock market, I share with you the uh, basic trading principles already, which is for most of the times, we don't chase after the rally. Most of the times, don't chase after the rally. The real, let's say, um, experts in the market, they, they usually don't chase after the rally. Rather, they would buy in the ones here. They would buy in the ones. So means what? Uh, instead of uh, uh, considering whether or not we can buy Tesla now, why don't you check the other uh, EV stocks which are in correction recently? Let's say uh, Xpon, it has already been in correction, right? So it has already been in correction. Why don't we uh, keep monitoring Xpon after this correction? Next time, if we turn to recycle again, and maybe the retailers decrease to be very small value or even disappear again, so for this one, maybe we can have another rally again. So instead of uh, eyeing on Tesla, why don't we just, uh, yes, check uh, Xpeng. Monitor this one, keep monitoring it every day. Of course, now we don't have buy points. But if we have buy points in the near future, try, right? You follow the circle, 
follow the multicolored dragon, the retailers and the big boys. So you will know when would be the best timing to enter again for Expo and also for uh, Lee Auto. Okay, also in correction, now the price already touched the uh, yellow rainbow line and we uh, we have retailers now around 25%, which is not that good. If in near future, the circle can turn red and big boys uh, increase or can remain around 50, but retailers can disappear or decrease, then we may have chances again for Lee Auto. Lee Auto. So if you uh, think this way or you uh, deal with the market this way, you will always catch the chances in at once rather than chasing after the rally. So this is the lesson I want you to learn from Tesla. All right, so uh, this is about uh, Tesla. So finally, about BioNTech, right? So Bio BioNTech, Bio BNTX. BioNTech, I'm still holding it. I'm still holding it. Remember, I shared with you my point, buy point this, um, uh, uh, yes, uh, second December. Uh, my, my, my cost level is $1, oh, sorry, $119.43. That's my cost. So uh, after that, we see the price, it dropped a bit the following day. And the, then the following day, just said we did. Then yesterday, it began to move again. So I'm still holding. So it's still in steady uh, rise. So uh, I'm going to hold to see uh, wh whether or not the circle can continue to be red. If it turn, red, uh, turn to white circle in future, I will consider to take profit for short term first. Okay, this is for uh, BioNTech. All right, so that's uh, for the contents I want to share with you. Do we have a uh, stock to diagnose for the day? Uh, I see someone want to check uh, DocuZen, right? So DocuZen, yes, I have uh, mentioned about DocuZen in my uh, videos recently, right? So DocuZen. Okay, so uh, for DocuZen, we, what we need to focus on is the previous uh, sideways platform here. Okay, so we see there is an upward gap, upward gap this day. Uh, I think uh, that is the day when we have the uh, quarter three earning results came out for DocuZen, right? So uh, after the upward gap, we have it covered uh, yesterday, last night, right? The gap already covered. If the price can remain above the sideways platform, the top, then maybe you can consider to buy. But if the price continue dropping, so better not to touch. Still keep monitor, keep monitoring it to see whether the price touch the red circle or even the uh, yellow lines below can get some support. If get support, turn up again. Next time the, the price break up the top of the sideway platform again, maybe you can consider to buy this one. Of course, previously I shared with you the resistance Tai Chi signal, right? So the Tai Chi signal. You see, uh, even when we have good news, uh, the earning results quite good, turned out to be quite good for quarter three, yeah? still the price unable to break up the resistance of the previous uh, yellow Tai Chi. Then you know how important it is uh, for the yellow Tai Chi signal, right? So. Uh, Yes, so this, this is how we should deal with uh, DocuZen. And then the other one to check, AVTR, right? So AVTR. AVTR, well, this is the second race circle. If you, you check based on the uh, race circle, the second race circle here is the, it is the confirmation to buy. For short term trading, and we see this stock no retailer, which means it's a good one to pick. But you see the feature for this stock, the rally can be quite uh, slow. It just rise a bit, a bit, a bit. 
it keeps move upward with small steps, very small steps. So this kind of stock for short term trading, it, not, it may not be a, a very good choice. This kind of stock, the best uh, strategy is you buy at the low position, then keep holding for medium term to long because the, the movement would be quite slow for short term. So it's not a very big movement. For short-term trading, uh, you find your profit every trading would be quite limited. It's quite slow. The move would be quite slow. So best strategy for this kind of, uh, uh, let's say, position after significant correction, then you uh, press touch the yellow line uh, after, uh, let's say, the correction for a while, long term or relatively long term, then you buy and keep holding. This, this would be the best strategy. Short term, you still may be able to get some profit, but for if you follow the red and white circle, it will just be some small profit, all right? Small profit, not very big profit. Okay, so this is for AVTR. Uh, what are other stocks? Oh, some people want to talk about Samprop industry. Uh, Samprop industry, let's check S51, right? Some cop industry still at the bottom. Still at the bottom, it's weak. It, it has remained weak because the price can even not break up the yellow tie, the previous yellow tie signal here. So uh, it turned to white circle uh, yesterday, right? This is for yesterday. All right, it turned to white circle. So if tonight the price continue dropping for short term, it depends on where you have entered. If you have entered, let's say after the a bottom catch signal, the blue Tai Chi, right? So if you have bought around around here, right? So you have if you have bought uh, bought around here, when the price uh, su successfully break up the high of the blue Tai Chi, then you for short term trading you can take some profit. If you are thinking that you want to uh, trade this or hold this one for medium term to long, maybe you can still. Uh, keep some position, sell partially. But I think for Samcorp Marine, it has been quite weak. I'm not sure whether or not it would be a very good choice to hold for medium term to long term trading. So not not yet sure about this one, right? Uh, for me, if I I if I let me deal with it. I, I will not take it from the very beginning. And then secondly, even if I have uh, traded this one, let's say I have bought here, the circle here I bought, and then I would uh, choose to take profit for short term. Because I, if, even if I trade, I would just uh, trade for short term trading. Not, uh, uh, it's not still too early to uh, judge that it is a very good pick for medium term to long term holding. Until now, I don't see such kind of sign that it can be so bullish in the long run. All right, so uh, this is for Sam Cobb uh, Marine. Okay, so maybe to, let's check the price for today. Didn't check the price for today. Okay, so you see no movement. It's just it's just sideways, no movement. So uh, uh, if we have better choices. If we have better choices, we'll, uh, we, we, why don't we have? Why do we have to stick to the weak ones, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, the latest performance is here, right? Okay. So yes, today is just a sad video. So this is for uh, sample called uh, Marine. All right, so if uh, you don't have other stocks to diagnose, then I will call it a day for today, all right? Uh, but uh, don't forget to share my video with your friends uh, because I really need your support and I need uh, your encouragement. So uh, let's say I need uh, your, let's say your support will be my biggest motivation. I really need to be motivated by you. All right. I need your support. So uh, that, let's say uh, all for today. That's all for today. Then looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye bye.